Wait, hold on, wait, my, my, okay, wait. It's good to see you, I'm back with another video. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> okay, no, let me stop. Yes, I had to zip up my sweater because YouTube don't like that when it's like that, like that. You feel me? Like, hold on, I left my notes. They don't like when... You know, the yiddies are out. They don't like when the yiddies are out. So I'm like, all right, like, let me make sure the yiddies are tucked in. My hair looks a little crazy. Listen, I already know. Okay, I get it. Okay, fuck, I know. I just got the cooking. I just did a cooking video for um Only Friends. <laughs> um, I made, like, this Spanish steak and onions, like a guisado, and, um... Like a, like a stew dish, like a stew. I think guisado is the proper word. And with some white rice and some string beans, baby. Mm. Yes, I'm about to dog that after. What? All right, so anyway, you already read the motherfucking title, my baby. So it's going to get right into it. So now, the title of the video is how to not get nervous when you're about to hook up with someone for the first time. Now, be a sim. First, we're going to start by saying, get out your motherfucking head, all right? Like, stop doing that. Why did it, why is it uneven? Stop doing that, okay? Like, you, that's step number one. Get out your head. Now, but for real, I wrote down 10 key points, okay? This is what I do. And I'm never really nervous when I'm meeting somebody for the first time, whether, even if they're coming to my house. Like, I'm never really nervous. I don't know why, um, but these things really do help me. Like, I'll be ready. I'll be excited if anything. I'll be like, let's go. And it doesn't matter how fine they are either because you already know. If y'all don't know, I get the finest men, okay? It's something about that. Okay, anyway, so number one, get tipsy. Now, listen, if you too young to drink, don't listen to me. But drink a little, do a sip a little shot, okay? Get tipsy and then get him tipsy when he comes over. All right, that's always going to help because, you know, lick of courage is real, baby. And you don't want to be sitting there like, oh my God, what are you going to think of me? No, you feel me? Like, you want to come in, you're going to be a little lit, you're going to be confident, but don't be too lit now. You don't want to be slopping in belligerents, belligerents when he come in here. No, baby, you don't want that like that. You want to be able to still keep your composure and shit, you know, when he walk through the door. So, yeah, baby, take, get tipsy, take a little shot. Take a little shot. If you don't like shots, drink a little bit of wine juice. You feel me? And then when he get up in here, just be like, okay, so since I, you're a man and I'm a woman, you get double shots. You know? Then he gonna be right with you really quick. You feel me? Like, But yeah, seriously, just get, get a little tipsy. Drink a little bit. Have fun. Because liquor helps y'all let loose. Straight up. I can't believe you. Why people just be out here raw dogging and sober? Like, that's wild. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so next one is don't smoke. Okay, don't smoke, bro. So what I noticed for myself, this, it could be different for everybody else, but what I noticed for myself is if I smoke right before I'm about to meet somebody, or if I'm, I get in my head and I want to pull out and I don't want to do it because I'm paranoid. You know that ganja make you a little scary. You feel me, baby? So that's what you got to do like that. You can't. Don't smoke nothing. Smoke together. When he comes here, then we smoke together. That's then you know, then y'all lit, lit. But even sometimes, have you ever been like smoking with someone and you look at them and you just be like, you look a little bit like a muskrat. Just a little bit, nah, not just, no, oh, I. You know, like this, yeah, don't smoke. All right, number three. You have to remember that they're nervous too. Okay, um, any man that, you know, I've met, hung out with, da, 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 they was always telling me how nervous and like scared they was just as much as me because they, they don't know if they're going to get lined up. You feel me? That's the number one thing. Men are already scared because maybe not because of you, or maybe it is because of you, baddie. Eh? But a lot of them feel like it's a setup and they might get lined up. So they're already nervous as well. Okay, so keep that in your head. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so serious. Next is body confidence you feel me because we tend to get you know a little bit in our head you know it's like oh what if he doesn't like this about me what if he doesn't like that about me or like just when you're about to be intimate like if he's like oh what if i have like oh i have this ingrown hair here or oh what if he has a problem with the discoloration men don't care they want to get off 
And I know that sounds wild, but it's true. They want to get off. But even still, if they if it wasn't just about getting off, men don't care about stuff like that. I promise. They don't notice what we notice. You know, they don't care about the stuff that we care about. And if they are and they nitpicking and shit like that and like nitpicking you as a woman, you might want to second guess their preferences just a tad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You might like some dip. No, I'm just kidding. All right, next. Do glam mirror work. Okay, now I'm gonna explain this to you. Just try to stay with me. So while you're getting ready, while you're doing your makeup, while you're doing your hair, you're going to say things. Okay, look at you. You look at yourself in the eyes while you're saying it. Just like I am beautiful. I am confident. I am beautiful. I am confident. He won't. I won't chase him. He will chase me. He he's going to think I'm so beautiful. He's going to think I am the most beautiful. I am the most beautiful girl in the world. I am her. I am her. I am her. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I'm infinitely beautiful. Tell yourself that over and 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 over while you're getting ready. That shit's gonna stick. I promise. I promise. I promise like because you know when you when you have you know confidence it radiates off you so like if he comes in your presence and he sees that you're like really confident that's intimidating for um for like I feel like a decent amount of men not all but you know a decent amount I feel like so you know do glam mirror work make sure you're looking at yourself in the mirror in your eyes while you're getting ready and telling yourself that you are her and you do not chase you attract and you're going to attract anybody that walks through your door you're going to attract anybody that walks through your door. You're going to attract anybody that walks through your door. Okay, love you. Next. Why, why do I have confidence down here? I already said that. Confidence is key though, okay? Okay, because if you confident, you holding it, you know, you're not that nervous. You know, when you're a little insecure, you tend to be a little bit more nervous because you're wondering about what that person's going to think of you. I'm going to say this and I'm going to keep saying it. Stop worrying about what he's going to think of you. Worry about what, if you're going to even, what you're going to think of him. Or if you even going to like him. You feel me, him, her, whoever watching this. Yeah, yeah. All right, next. Hype yourself up. So one thing I like to do, right? I'll take my little shot of shot. Betty, Betty, shot of clock. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Okay. So what I will do is I'll blast music. All my favorite songs. All my baddie. All my bad bitch songs. Like all that. That and, you know, freaky songs. I'll be, I'll be blasting my freaky songs because that kind of puts me in the mood like I'm about to slow this man out. <laughs> when he get in hell, he don't know he about to get him. But anyway, so... Yeah, hype yourself up. I'll put music on. I will literally dance in my mirror and, like, just get hype. You know, take some shots, just get hype, get ready. You feel me? Like, just, ah, I'd be like, miss, you gonna do this. He gonna come here. He gonna fall in love with you, baby. Yeah, baby. And even if he don't, I ain't falling in love with him because we don't do that over here. We don't do that. Yeah. All right, next. You have to remember that they're a person just like you. Okay? Like, I feel like we forget that men have the similar feelings to us. Men are sim more similar to us than we think. They're just better at hiding it, so we just don't know what the fuck that what they're thinking so we just run with whatever the fuck comes up fire because we're crazy we're fucking emotional bitch now men can be crazy and emotional too it's not just for women but you feel what i'm saying they are a person too they are probably just as nervous as you they're feeling exactly what you're feeling so don't think it's just you because when you think it's just you that makes you the odd one out and then you're gonna be even like more like what the fuck when he comes through you feel me no they're just as nervous as you they're just as nervous as you and they're just as nervous as you okay Thank you, babe. All right, next. Bro, I put two points together. See, this is why I don't write nothing down and shit. This is why I just sit off the dome piece. All right, last one. Now, it's just spicy time, okay? Because... <laughs> no, but it's just that. You're not going to marry this man. You might. You might. You might, you're not going to spend forever with this man. You might. Okay? But how I think of it, I'm like, it's not that serious. He's going to get slutted out. And then I'm going to continue my life right after he walks through this door. Like he was never even here. It's not that deep, y'all. We all going to croak. Okay? Like, we all going to go together. Is it going to say on your gravestone, oh, yeah, Timothy came over her house this one time and she did it. No. No, baby. Get out your head, Mookabut. 
it's just spicy time and and i know some people are not gonna agree with that and that's fine we can agree to disagree i'm not here to change your mind don't try to change mine you know we can respect each other's you know mindset and how we see it you feel me but um to me like intimacy is intimacy you feel me and some people believe in soul ties so like no it's not deep you sleep with someone and da -da -da, connect you connect with each other da -da -da. I genuinely, uh, I'm a very spiritual person. I don't believe that though. I don't. I feel like soul ties become created once you start falling in love. Once your souls itself start intertwining. Like once you start falling in love with that person. Not only just da da da. Because yeah, that attaches you too. But again, I could be wrong. At the end of the day, we don't motherfucking know. We all just like to think we have an idea for comfort. You feel me? And so we off this motherfucking realm. Okay. I love y'all so much. My mooka bust. Turn it up. Back it up. Smoke some. Bust a... Oh, my toe. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. I love you so much. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace.